Hello everyone and welcome back to Lasha's Homestead. Today guys, we are going to be touring the backyard garden. This is our June backyard garden tour. We're gonna to start right here up front with our citrus trees. Right here, we have the, I haven't even been over here messing with these trees. I don't remember what order I have them in guys. But this here is the sunburst tangerine. I haven't gotten any tangerines off this tree this season. I think it's doing really good. It's recovering from the winter freeze we had um, at the end of the year of 2022. But it looks like we may be putting on some little bulbs. If you want to come in here, Jay, I think we got a few little bulbs here. We did have some blooms on them. But guys, when it rains, the blooms kind of fall off. But we got some blooms on that one. This here is our Cara Cara Naval Orange tree. And same thing with this tree guys it's recovering nicely it's beginning to put on new foliage so i am pretty happy about this tree but something is eating away soon as the foliage comes on and the little bulbs um come on something comes and eat them so i need to go ahead and get this sprayed again with a pest preventative along here this is our thornless key lime <laughs> but as you can see it has thorns so clearly this tree here was grafted jay if you can zoom in look at the thorns on this this is supposed to be a thornless key lime guys but the um uh oh we got some weeds growing in here but clearly it has thorns on it so it was grafted so i don't know what's growing at this current moment but i'm just leaving it like that as a science experiment it's growing below the graph line. So I'm not sure what's growing on that. But let's go ahead and go in the backyard. I got to make sure my dog isn't right here. And he's not. So welcome to our backyard, guys. <laughs> welcome to the backyard. We are, we are going to go ahead and start here. This is our Anna apple tree, guys. Nothing has been going on with this Anna apple tree. I do get this tree sprayed quite often with the pest preventative. But guys, for some reason, the little bitty pests, they love this tree for some reason. But we're still taking care of it and hopefully it can bounce back. But I haven't really put that much um, energy or focus into this tree here. Next to the Anna Apple, we have our Georgia peach tree. Guys, even though the peach tree doesn't have any fruit on it, I'm just so grateful that we have so much foliage growth. If you go back like to our February garden tour, you can see, I'm, I believe we had maybe two to three limbs on this tree, but it is putting on a significant amount of growth. So I am just really happy. I mean, we have new shoots coming out. I'm just so happy about this tree. In regards to this area, I have to get something done to this area, but I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do just yet. I'm gonna start right here on this bed. This here is our okra bed. We have a lot of goodies growing in this bed. We have okra, cucumbers, squash, watermelon. We are using all the space we have in this bed here. I'm gonna start right here, guys. This is our sugar baby watermelon. If you wanna zoom in and show them the sugar baby watermelon, looks like we're gonna have a few flowers growing on that. And right next to that sugar baby watermelon, we have our Clemson spineless okra. And it looks like we got our first pod there, guys. Gonna be snacking on that pretty soon, pretty, pretty soon. And on this first trellis, which type of cucumber do we have? This is the pick a bush, pick a bush cucumber, guys. I consistently come out here and have to put this pick a bush back on the trellis, guys, because it wants to crawl. It does not want to be on the trellis. So we are trying to train it to stay on the trellis, but it consistently uh, binds downward. So let me get this put on the trellis while we're doing the tour. I'll come back. Um, right between that, we do have more okra. This is our 1010 okra, okay? And between that 1010 okra, we have a tiger melon growing. We also have some perennials up front. This is a Shasta daisy. And on the outer skirts of that Shasta daisy, we have some yellow crookneck squash, guys. It looks like we did have one, two male flowers open this morning, but it looks like it's closed. Over here, if you wanna zoom in on this, we have the male flower down here. We have yet to produce any female flowers just yet. 
right here in the middle this is our lemon cucumber guys and the lemon cucumber is just starting to put on flowers and here i am again guys training it on the trellis <laughs> and on the outer skirts of the cucumbers we do have um marigolds i did come out before i planted the cucumber i put some marigolds on the ground just as a pest preventative a natural pest preventative in between the lemon uh, cucumber and this, what is this? This is a Boston pickling cucumber here, but this here is the motherland okra, guys. I can't wait to try that motherland okra. I'm pretty excited about that. And right next to the motherland okra here, this is our Tuscany cantaloupe. So the flowers on the watermelon and cantaloupes is so cute, super cute. And check us out. This is our Black Beauty eggplant. Look like we're growing our first eggplant, guys. Check that out, Jade. Look at that. Uh-oh, we're going to have an eggplant pretty soon. I'm quite happy about that. Going to make us some eggplant parmesan. <laughs> and as I mentioned, this is the Boston pickling cucumber. Look at the flowers. Show them the flowers on this cucumber. That is so pretty. I just think the flowers on these cucumbers is just so pretty so so pretty let me go ahead and pick up the vine for this one kind of push it through behind that boston pickling i believe i have a yellow crookneck um, squash back there right here we have a zucchini this zucchini clearly loves this area because it has put on so much growth and on the outskirts of that zucchini we have two emerald okras guys check that out come zoom in on this area it looks beautiful over here check out this zucchini i mean it is taking over it is large and in charge <laughs> so i know um it's kind of hovering the bottom area but this emerald okra is going to get to be about eight to ten feet so it's going to provide shade to this room here so i'm not going to worry about it being down below because we're going to clip the foliage at the bottom and it's just going to grow really tall so it shouldn't be any problem and behind this emerald okra we have another sugar baby watermelon so everything is i am heavy feeding this area because all of these plants are heavy feeders but one thing about all of these plants they all love water so i thought it would be good to put them in the area contrary to what the internet say about planting them with each other because you know they may be taking nutrients from one another but i do feed this bed every single week so that i can't um i don't have to worry about one taking nutrients from the area and they've been doing just great they're all thriving in abundance over here so i can't wait to get a harvest from them all righty guys it is getting hot out here i'm starting to sweat but let's go across over here to this bed this is our corn bed right here on the end of the corn bed i have a georgia rattlesnake on georgia rattlesnake watermelon on both ends lining the front of the bed we have some canter green beans and behind that canter green beans we have the bull sweet corn that's growing jay if you could span in and show them the foliage on the canter green beans and show them some of the corn that did go ahead and pop up out of the ground you can zoom in a little closer so they can actually see the foliage on the green beans Perfect. And behind that, we did go ahead and plant out some gladiolus bulbs. We have 58 gladiolus bulbs that had that did go ahead and produce for us. So we are waiting for those flowers. We just have to get them watered a little bit. As we're going further into the backyard, on the outskirts of this trail, we have two Lady of Shallots climbing roses. And I did go ahead and put two market cucumber slicer cucumbers in each one of these uh rose containers here but it looks like we may have our first bloom jay if you want to come in check that out and this is a beautiful beautiful orange color rose so i can't wait for that to open up i just can't wait and this here as i mentioned is our slicer uh no this is not this is a straight eight cu cucumber so let's get this growing up the trellis coming on in on this side of the bed here these are just our dahlias if you want to go ahead and show them the dahlias here 
we have a, a lot of varieties of dahlias. These are just a few that have popped up. The other ones haven't pushed through just yet. And that's another Georgia rattlesnake. Guys, this rattlesnake, Georgia rattlesnake, is just vining out. That's going to be a big, big watermelon. And over here in this bed here, this is our sweet banana peppers. I did go ahead and plant these maybe last week, I believe. But I got them put in the ground. I had so many peppers, guys. I did not know what to do with all those peppers. So I went ahead and sprinkled them throughout. So we have five sweet banana peppers that are growing over here in this bed, okay? And also in the bed, we did go ahead and drill more holes so that whenever we get ready to plant anything, those holes will already be prepared for us. We have more watermelon, guys. This is the Jubilee watermelon that we have growing right here. We also have another Jubilee watermelon. Let me go back here. For some reason, it wants to go that way. But this is another Jubilee watermelon, guys. So I'm going to just let it do its own thing. And over here, this is just the cayenne long thin peppers. We did go ahead and get these planted at the same time we planted the sweet banana peppers. Guys, so I wanted to grow some cayenne so I can do cayenne powder. And these are Walla Walla onions, guys. I did pull up a lot of our onions that were leaning over. Now, this is just an experiment, okay? This is just an experiment because Walla Walla onions are long day onions, and I'm supposed to be growing short day onions. So I have these Walla Wallas, and it looks like one of them is beginning to bulb. Jay, if you want to come zoom in over here and show them this one here. It looks like this one's beginning to bulb. So we may have some onions from Walla Walla onions pretty soon, guys. I think we have a, another month to two months for this to be in the ground. So we shall see how that experiment goes. Right next to the Walla Walla onions, guys, these are our pole beans. On this trellis, we have the Blue Lake pole bean. The center trellis, we have the Kentucky um, Wonder pole bean. And over here, we have the Monte Gusto pole bean. It looks like the Monte Gusto is just now starting to put on little flowers here. Check that out. <laughs> I still get excited to see the little flowers that grow on these. But it looks like <laughs> my blue lake went ahead and trellised behind us. So let's get that pulled back up front. I'm trying to get it to stay on the vine. So I just twine them in between one another. Uh, let me just make sure. And I'm going to just send this through back through here, guys. So I just wanted to grow up, uh -oh, up and down this trellis here. Right in front here, this is our Concord grape. Guys, I have no idea what to do with this Concord grape. I just keep moving it all around the yard, but it was back there in the shaded area at first. So I moved it right here. I may move it up front, but I don't know. <laughs> but for now, it's right here. Right in front, well, right behind the Concord grape, you're gonna have to come around here. We have our potatoes. Uh, there's no potatoes in there because all of the uh, pest went ahead and ate the foliage on there. But we have the Yukon Gold here in this one. And we have the Northern Red that is growing in this bucket here. And right in front of those, we have our asparagus, guys. Check out these asparagus ferns. Aren't they beautiful? So, so beautiful. All righty. We're moving on along, guys. We're getting it done. So right here um, in front of this arbor trellis, we have two blueberries. The blueberry here to my left is the Jersey blueberry. Guys, look at the foliage on this Jersey blueberry. It is showing out with growth. My goodness, my goodness. I was watching my February garden tour and just to see how far everything has come in the garden, I'm just so surprised. Over here to my right is the Climax blueberry. And we have to give this Climax Blueberry a little TLC because it has been, the container has been knocked over a few times. But along inside the um, 
container with the blueberries, I did go ahead and plant some butternut squash because the butternut squash love water along with the blueberries. The blueberries love water too. So all I'm going to do is get these trained up the trellis and we'll have us some butternut squash. Guys, I am really trying to maximize the space that I have with um, all of my vegetables, but let's get this baby. This is ready to go up the vine, guys. Check that out. So all I do is just pull them on through and put them on a trellis. And here's the other one here. Woo! Uh-oh, look, look, check that out. Bring it in. We're gonna have us some squash soon, guys. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 we in business, but let's get this trellis while I'm doing the tour. I could have came back and did this later, guys, but I want to go ahead and get it out of the way. All right, and let's check the other side. I have the same thing going on the other side. Yeah, same thing going on. So let's get this up the trellis. Where is the beginning of it? Okay, here it is. And here we are, the snails and the slugs are just all over the yard, eating on everything. Uh oh, I knocked off one of my butternut squash. Ugh, darn it. All right, let's walk on through that arbor trellis. Guys, I'm quite happy with this area here. We went ahead and pulled up the garlic that was in this bed and we planted some jade bush beans and we also planted some peppers in this bed, okay? Now, um, I went online and I did a little bit of research and they said do not grow garlic and green beans with one another, but I do know that peppers and garlic is a good companion plant. So I planted the peppers on the outskirt of the garlic here. In the middle, we have chestnut red garlic and we have um, jade bush beans growing on the outskirts of the peppers. So if you want to give them a span of everything, Jay, guys, check this out. This is our shishito peppers. So we have a row of shishito peppers and I only spaced them out about maybe 10 to 12 inches a piece. You know, peppers, um, they love rubbing shoulders. So I went ahead and get, got those planted out. Look at the jade bush beans, guys. I planted these last week, guys, and they are doing so good. I'm just so happy with the growth on these jade bush beans. But back here in this row, we have the pepperoncini peppers. Give them a glance of those pepperoncinis. Those pepperoncinis is looking good, looking good. Ah, I'm so happy, guys. I'm just happy to be able to plant stuff in the ground. It's one thing about starting seeds, getting those seeds to start, but then transplanting them and actually keeping them alive to harvest that's another thing <laughs> but right between here we have our red lady papaya and we have a eugenia here this eugenia is going to be potted up i just have to figure out where i want to put it in the landscape here's another snail there's another snail <laughs> but check out check this out guys this papaya tree loves it here and i'm not going to move this papaya tree from this area. Now I will scoot it over because I wanna put the banana tree over here. I did notice that the tropical trees do not like the direct sun heat here in Texas. They do love the humid weather though. So that's why this tree is th thriving. So I did go ahead and put it under the shade trees that we have back here. But we're gonna swap this over eventually. And here is my my baby over here, I need to give it a little love. Look at this snail on it, guys. It snails all over our landscape, all over the landscape. But this is a gardenia. I still need to come through and prune this gardenia and figure out what I want to do with this. This is one of my first uh, flower bushes that I purchased. So I need to show it a little bit of love, a little bit of love. But let's go ahead and go around to the front of the garden here, guys. We're going to make a pit stop. Check this out. This is a rose that I got on clearance, guys. This is a Pinkerbell. <laughs> and it looks like I went ahead and pruned it back really harshly when I first got it. But guys, it's just throwing out new growth like crazy. I got it fertilized and I've been keeping it watered. But check that out. It looks like it's going to put on some new growth here and also here. 
got a couple buds growing on it so i can't wait it is a beautiful uh cream color flower and then the end of the petals is like this blush color but i can't wait to check that out lining the border of our vegetable bed guys these are all our tomato starts <laughs> i still haven't gotten any of my tomatoes in the ground but check this out this is the early girl that i purchased from lowe's she's leaning over i need to come and water this is a sweet basil looks like our basil is trying to go to seed let's pull off the top of that you're not going to seed buddy on the end here this is a coral uh knockout rose and we also have some zinnias guys look at the eye of this zinnia before it even opens up <laughs> that looks so it almost have like a snail reptile skin on the bud there but i sprinkled a couple of zinnias throughout the bed here as we are walking onto the porch we have a red hibiscus guys we did have some blooms on this hibiscus we did have some blooms on this hibiscus but it looked like something came through and ate it off something was out here eating that hibiscus but right here before we go on the porch this here is our lips and lemon tree i do need to get this um pruned here because this is dead right here this top part is gone but that's our lips and lemon tree trying to bounce back after that um winter storm but red hibiscus this is another planter that we created in the spring i did go ahead and pull out the snapdragons and put in some pink and white vincas there but the um creeping jenny and the dusty millers and the quarter line is doing just well we'll just transition that right on into a summer flower pot and if you can come around here jay let's start on the front porch well the back porch here this right here guys this is my aloe vera but i tried to create a salsa <laughs> pot we got some basil this here is one of the early girl tomatoes and this here is a garden salsa pepper i am going to put a trellis on this one of the little tomato trellises so i'll put it on there to try to contain it and keep it pruned to that height here but in this pot this is also another salsa pot but this is going to be my snacking tomatoes guys i have claimed this spot right here as my seat this is my seat when i come out in the backyard everybody knows don't sit right here this is mom's spot so i have my snacking tomatoes and this here is a tidy treat tomato show them the tomatoes we got some little tomatoes on here guys check that out got a couple tomatoes on here and when i tell you it smells so lovely the tomatoes and the basil this basil oh my goodness i just can't get enough of smelling it and we also have a little bitty baby fire and ice pepper guys i just stuck that fire and ice right there because it's going to give us a lot of different color peppers i think like red blue it's like an ornamental pepper so i just stuck it right there just to have some color when it does grow and i did cut off a couple limbs when i pruned that tidy tree and just stuck them in some water so that i can propagate and grow some more tomatoes from that <clears throat> these are just some ornamental flowers that we put in we have two bromelades on the end we have two snapdragons in this pot and we also have some mums this here is <coughs> i can't remember what this is excuse me what is this here i did not remember what it was but this is a kalanko guys that is so pretty i really like that and check out our banana this is a, a dwarf cavendish banana <laughs> check out our banana tree guys i need to get it watered and fertilized <clears throat> But we're gonna move that banana in the back back there eventually. And swinging over here to my left, this is my Texas ever bearing fig tree, guys. I did get this fig tree up potted. When I up potted it about a week and a half ago, all of the petals fell off. So I've just been keeping it watered. I did go ahead and fertilize it and we already got some new leaves growing on it, some new foliage growing. All righty, guys. <laughs> Should I start with the trellis or with the flower bed? well with the vegetable bed i think i'm gonna go with the trellis it's easier it's easier this is my flower bed guys everything is dehydrated right now i did not come out and water this morning because we have rain in the forecast maybe in like the next 30 minutes we're supposed to get rain and it's going to rain for the next three to four days 
so I didn't want to water it. I wanted to let Mother Nature do it, but she hasn't came yet, so she better come on. But this is our scarlet runner bean climbing on up that trellis. Check out the little flowers, the little bloom. It's like an orange color. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing that beautiful color, but it looks like she's trying to climb onto the wall. Let me try and get her down. Come on down here. You don't belong up there. <laughs> and just pull her right on through. She was trying to climb on the wall. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Along this bed also, we did put another straight eight cucumber. I have straight eight slicer cucumbers planted throughout the garden, guys. I love to eat cucumbers. I'll just chop it up, make a cucumber salad. Or when I uh, make my tuna fish, instead of using crackers, I use the cucumber as like a crunch. I am um, eating better, trying to lose weight and get my body more healthy. So I, I use cucumbers a lot. And plus, it, had, it is water dense, guys. So it helps me stay hydrated, especially out here in this garden. Oh, this is my glorious, glorious vegetable bed. <laughs> I'm so proud of this vegetable bed, guys. I'm just so proud. Mainly in this bed, we have beans and peppers, guys. But let's start right on up here at the front. This here, these two peppers right here are keystone peppers. Guys, come on, swing on around. Swing on around here. Baby, we got peppers, baby. We in business. Go down to the bar. Show them them peppers. I think we have two peppers on this tree. That one, and then it's one over there. We're in business. Don't handle it too rough. It'll fall off. And over here, is this a keystone pepper as well? Let's see. What is that? What does that tag say? Yeah, this is a keystone bell pepper. We have one keystone on this so far, and we do have some buds on there. What is this here in front? We have yellow bell pepper, but pretty much in this bed, guys, it's all bell peppers, guys. Do we have any more peppers growing on any of these? This is chocolate beauty bell peppers that are growing. This here is a red one that's leaning over and touching the chocolate beauty. We got a little bitty chocolate beauty growing right here. Check that out. That's good. Have a few of them. Over here, this is our candy cane red. Check that candy cane red out. Woo, baby. We in business, y'all. Check this one. Did you show them this one? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And we have another candy cane red. We got peppers growing on that one also. Behind that candy cane red, we have our parsley. Guys, we just have a bed full of flowers. Now this here. All righty, guys. All righty. So right alongside these peppers, kind of on the left side of the bed, we have majority of our beans growing. And this right here, this is our red bean, and it looks like it's bushing out. So what I'll do with this one, since one of, it looks like it want to climb, guys, like it need to be put on the trellis. Last year, my bush bean, my red, my small red bean didn't do this. But what I may do is get a tomato trellis and just put it right in the center and just wrap the vines around it as it grows. That's what I'll do. But we already have a few of the beans. Check that out. Zoom in on that, Jay. We already got some red beans, y'all. Look back here. This one is full of them. Full of the beans. Full of the beans, guys. I love me a good red beans and rice with some cornbread, okay? <laughs> and I'm actually going to go on the outskirts of this here, guys. If you want to follow me around the outskirt, I think it may be easier. We have a variety of beans that is growing, guys, okay? So right here, this is my provider beans, and it looks like I need to come out here and harvest some of these beans because they are growing. I think I might have a handful, maybe 10 to 12 that I need to pull off, but this is our provider, guys. This provider pumps out a lot of green beans for us. Right here is the dragon tongue bean. We have a few that we can come and pull off the vine. It looks like it's ready to be I am going to cook me a piece of fish today, so I'm just going to put some fish in the air fryer, and I may come and pull some beans off. Guys, check this out. Which one is this one? This is our jade bush bean. We have a jade growing here. Come around. Check this out, Jay. Got a lot of green beans growing on that jade. I need to pull this off. Beans are starting to form, but we're going to pull all these off, and we are, well, I'm going to cook that up tonight, guys. 
but that is all i have for you i'm just looking around to make sure oh can't forget guys the vertical uh towers <laughs> the vertical towers come on guys how could i forget that guys we have an assortment of goodies growing okay God, if you can just span slowly so they can see everything, guys. I'm not going to go through one by one and pick it out, but we have strawberries, chives, rosemary, oregano. Let me take over the camera. Let me go ahead and take over for a minute here because I feel like he ain't going to do it justice, y'all. I got to take over. <laughs> but check this out, guys. We have some strawberries growing here, some chives. Ugh chives growing i have a butternut squash once that get big enough i'm just gonna let that hit the ground and just sprawl out down there we got some good oregano some spearmint the spearmint has its own row i have a black beauty eggplant guys they are thriving in this container look at that strawberry I already putting out a little berry here that's more spearmint strawberries down at the bottom let's come around here we have a jalapeno pepper here like our jalapenos ready to produce this here is the vix vapor rub plant that's another jalapeno looks like we got our first jalapeno right there guys right there got our first jalapeno let's go check this one out here we got another black beauty okay we got strawberries rosemary this is our vix vapor rub plant on this end guys this has been holding up nicely looks like our peppermint want to go to seed how dare you gonna come and make us some tea for tonight that's what we're gonna do let's check this end out here guys it's looking good it's looking good this is our time the time is doing good guys and of course we have our extreme hot peppers guys <laughs> we have our carolina reaper pepper okay and on each one of these trellises the hot peppers on this little bird trellis here so that's the Carolina Reaper. Over there, that's our ghost. And down on the end over there is our scorpion pepper, guys. <laughs> but this, this bed is looking glorious, guys. It does need to be watered. So Mother Nature, Mother Nature, come on and do your job, please. And this is our little stars of the show, our protectors of the bed. That's our tortoise. And look at that. Look at our little buddy. <laughs> well all righty guys we have finally gotten to the end of the tour guys the sun is out okay and it has been beaming make sure you have your hats on and you stay hydrated this summer but i want to thank you so much for joining us here on Lasha's homestead guys i'm just standing in the midst of this bed and i think it's just such a blessing to be able to grow my own vegetables guys and i'm just in awe every time i come out here i just it's such a blessing to be able to do something like this and be able to begin to take control over the things that we are eating one step at a time. But thank you again for joining me here on Lasha's Homestead, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.